Hello. Welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Sagittarius weekly money and career reading from July 2nd to the 9th, 2023. Sagittarius, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. July 2nd to the 9th, 2023. Money and career for the sign of Sagittarius. Welcome, welcome to everyone. Uh, hopefully the comments will be available and not disabled. I am still trying to fix the problem with YouTube. Not sure what is provoking that, but um, we're trying to fix it. Um, hopefully the comments will be available if not it is not from my decision there we go ace of pentacles sagittarius look at this ace of pentacles offer what this offer seems to stress you maybe mm, am i gonna take this am i not i didn't expect this or i didn't expect it in that way or it's a different number or different people. It's It feels like it's stressful. But you're still listening to these people or listening to the offer or, you know, there's a dialogue there. You, you're you there to listen to what there is to be said, Sagittarius. Uh, this can be with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or, you know, this Queen of Cups can be that person offering you this opportunity or, or a job or a business or a partnership. I feel like this Queen of Cups is... Um, it can be you... Let's pull more. Let's see what, what the cards say. Because the Queen of Cups is really compassionate, warm. She's she's like a counselor, someone supportive, right? Someone there for you. She'll help you or help people think with their heart, wise, supportive, right? And sort of naturally lending an ear to help out or lending a hand to help out, being there for others, right? And it's it's sort of like an emotional support. So maybe this is a person around you, helping you, listening to you, or someone that's there for you, right? That can listen to you um, once this offer comes in or while you make your decision, right, Sagittarius? Because it feels like it's that, that you want someone to talk to. Um, or maybe someone to give you advice. So here is six, six of wands. You're pushing forward confidently. Oh, I like the, but since, see, you have victory over that six of wands. You're confident, but it's a huge change. Okay. So that's why you have anxiety. Huge change. A 180 here, Sagittarius. So this can be a change of career completely moving to another place, another city, another country. Um, yeah, it feels like a change of career if, or it feels like an opportunity. I don't like to say that, an opportunity of a lifetime, but it's, a, it's something completely different. Aha, uh -huh. maybe you're going back home or maybe you're going back to something um, and Oh, it seems like you've been working on this. So maybe you've been working on this big change, Sagittarius. Maybe you've been working on moving, going back to a certain place because there's nostalgia that or moving, moving closer to your family or moving closer to a certain situation, a company, a team or people or somewhere where you have that job, that, opp that opportunity that really speaks to you. And maybe this is, these are just the energies, right? For example, maybe you've been in a job for a while and you, you know, in a city, in a town, wherever it is, right? You, you've been in a, a certain um, 
job and then all of a sudden you have this opportunity to go somewhere or move somewhere um so closer to your hometown closer to your family closer to your kids closer to closer to something you call home and it doesn't have to be home right it's that comfort zone those people you love so much or that place you love so much or that team of people that company that business that really that you really want to go to or want to go back to. So maybe it's a career you're going back to that you so enjoyed. Whatever it is, it's you feeling that that's where you want to be. The Seven of Pentacles. This is something you've worked on. This is something you... You... You're excited to move forward on this with the Knight of Wands. Uh, taking things lighter. So it might be a huge turnaround, a huge decision, a huge change. But I feel like with this Ten of Swords, your Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, you're at the end of something, something that pushed you to change that is or that's pushing you to make a decision because whatever it is that you were doing sort of I want to say it wounded your confidence right with the six of wands um and you want to make sure you lead the way. You want to make sure maybe you get a managerial position. You want to make sure people understand your talent, what you bring to the table, and you don't want nonsense anymore of having to constantly have to prove yourself or constantly have to show people who you are. And maybe going back to this or, you know, that sh this big shift, this big decision is you know boosting your confidence again because maybe you don't have people surrounding you this energy surrounding you um of bs because the knight of wands for me is bs it's thinking you know it's it's making decisions without thinking or making them before thinking right rushing into things without thinking of consequences and maybe you did rush into something without, con you know, with consequences. Maybe you rushed into the past job or maybe you rushed into the past circumstance. Let's pull some more cards because I almost feel like, okay, I almost feel like you're shifting, making this huge turnaround decision because the last time you rushed into something and with no clear plan of attack, and then, you know, and then you're like, wait a second, that didn't work out. I, I'm not with the right people. They don't understand me. This is not working for me. And so you are here rethinking the whole thing. Oh, this card just popped out. Give me one moment, please. Yes, there you go. Celebrating. It's almost like you're going back to the that place. It, it it feels like okay. It feels like you. Let's say back in the day, and that can mean anything. That can be a couple of years, or you know, pre world situation, whatever it is. You were in the right place, or you felt in the right place. You felt comfortable in a job, in a career, in a business, in a place, in an area, whatever. And then you took a job, another job, somewhere else. Or it doesn't have to be somewhere else, but you, you know, maybe you had to take a job to pay the bills or take a job after the world situation, whatever. And you realize that this, you did not like the environment, did not like the people, didn't trust the people. And here you have the Ten of Swords. It's the end of that. It's the end of that anxiety and feeling that constant stab in the back, constant, constant, constant. So you're moving on to or moving back to something because you have an opportunity here back with that company or cl closer to your family or in that town, city, whatever. 
And that is, that is celebration for you. And you, you realize that, you know, you rushed into that. You rushed into that job and you thought it was for you. You thought these people, it was interesting. You, you thought it was the right thing to do. And that's fine, right? We do that all the time. We take jobs. We have opportunities and we think it's good. And, you know, and, and sometimes it's fantastic. Sometimes it's okay, just okay. And sometimes it's crappy. And um, that's okay as long as we realize, you know, that we always have opportunities. We always have a choice. We can always move around, even though sometimes it's extremely difficult and we feel blocked and we feel like there's no way to go and we only have one solution. No, we don't. We always have a choice. Always. Now, is it easy? No. There we go. Is it clear? No. Uh, does it require an immense power of resilience sometimes? Yes. Uh, but there's always a choice. All right. And then when I read stories, and that's why I'm a little upset that the comments are not functioning properly right now, um, I'm amazed at the resilience and the power and the love of a lot of people on this platform and I and that's why this platform is important for me if people need to vent to always while being respectful of course of one another um, but if people need to say things share things be happy be sad be frustrated be you know excited you can write it on this platform. This is what it is all about, sharing our energies to empower each other and maybe help or just be there. All right, here we go. Let's see where we are here. Yeah, I feel like there was that thing that you took you know, and that you realize, I, I, you know, I can't work with these people or I don't understand how, what, what this is all about. Let me go back to what I know or let me go back to something that makes sense to me that empowers me. All right. Sagittarius. Let's see if there are more messages in the second deck. Sagittarius weekly money and career July 2nd to the 9th. 2023 yeah there's a decision it, it's you have to make a decision it's sort of cornered right and by here we have that knight of wands again and because of this energy because i feel like this knight of wands it can be a person right aries leo sag other or you but i feel like yeah it's the energy of feeling cornered because you made the wrong choice, but not, I, I don't think it's the wrong choice now. I think it was the wrong choice a while ago, but you didn't know. And uh, it's not a mistake. It's just realizing, okay, enough is enough. This is not for me. I need to move on and make a decision here. Yes, there we go. And here we have the judgment. I was just surprised that the justice or the judgment was not coming out, rebuilding, you're just moving on, rising to something different, something much more important for you than uh, these energies that were really, really sort of um, not professional, not professional, to say the least. And so now you have, you, you have been confused it feels, but you have different options and you're rebuilding your career, rebuilding your path, deciding to boss up to something more important for you or going back to something more important for you with the judgment. The judgment is a big decision. 
Yes, a big decision with awareness, allowing more knowledge to come in, allowing more understanding to come in, following your intuition, understanding what is imp important for you, rising up to uh, what is most important to you. I like the high priestess, right? The priestess is moving forward with more clarity, moving forward with more wisdom, more objectivity, right? And opening up to others, opening up to others where you find connections, right? After a complicated situation, or it seems like it's like a BS situation. And I'm, I'm not demeaning it at all by any means, but it just feels like you realize that, okay, you can't work with these people. You can't work with this company or you can't trust these people moving on. But this moving on for you is just time for like a, a huge change in career. So maybe you've had enough for, you know, and you've been in the same career for a while. And if it's not a huge change of career, it's really, it's a big move, a physical move or something like that. There's a huge change there. But you're moving towards other knowledge. You're moving towards, you know, another environment, another type of job. Maybe you're even taking classes, right? Um, learning new, opening up to a new, um, almost like a new community, a new team. And it, it feels like it's not the same. So you're discovering, you're almost like you're being initiated and you're discovering your new job or your new career. Working hard at learning. It feels like you're doing things over and over and over to perfect your skills or to perfect your knowledge. And there you have the world. Beautiful. Bringing it all together, Sagittarius bringing it all together, making it happen. You're growing. You're really growing. Growing with a sense of achievement. Growing with a sense of for, fulfillment. Once you make this decision, there's no turning back. You got this with the world. I, I love the world. It's, it's, it's making things happen. And that no matter what, um, this is full circle. This is full circle. And it's almost like this is your success. This is you reaching that twilight, right? Reaching um, that moment where you realize this is where you belong. This is your your strength. This is your job. This is your new career. And um, it's, yeah, you're finalizing something that you worked really hard on. So did you obtain a, a diploma in, in in school and you're you just got this amazing job or you're changing your career right and or you're you're moving to another place but you're excited i like yes it's new with the page it's new and wow you have the star and the world so you're this is a real beautiful period of success and a period of sort of reconciling all your knowledge, your experience, or the classes you might have taken to reach this point and to be able to enter this career or enter this job. It's, you can be, um, it, it really feels like a complete different field, a complete different subject. It can even be abroad. You can be moving abroad or to a different city. As I already said that in the beginning. But with the star, it's not only you're moving into a new, a new sector, um, but you're also growing, right? And it's, it's the calm after the storm, the calm after these huge changes. And now you can sort of blossom in this new job, in this, this is a new period of, you know, just really enjoying and feeling like feeling a period of protection of serenity, right? And, and, and 
a beautiful inspiration, creativity, pushing forward in this career. You know where what you're getting into. You're inspired. This is a beautiful move here. And I feel like, yeah, it feel like it feels like you're just protected and moving into harmony and um your your surroundings, the people surrounding you, the people hiring you, the company, whatever, wherever you're moving to, feels like you're moving, doesn't have to be, but if you're not moving physically, you're definitely going to work in a different type of career. It feels very creative. It feels like the team is very creative. We don't have the Empress, but maybe she'll pop up. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Here we go. Knight of Wands. Well, there we go. If we didn't understand that, we have the Knight of Wands, the third Knight of Wands. That's how much BS was going on, Sagittarius. That is how much BS has been going on. And the Fool. Well, there you go. Enough with the BS going on, onto your new adventure, free spirit, free choice. This is fun. This is you. You're entering a complete new career, a complete new zone. Um, you know it's exciting. You don't know everything yet, but that's okay. You truly believe in yourself and you're, you're, you're letting go all the stigmas, sort of um, healing, healing from these past situations in that job you regret working in. I mean, three Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Again, apologies for the comment situation. Hopefully it'll get back to normal. I don't know. Uh, but, um, there's always a there's always a way to comment. Some videos are are disabled. Some videos are not, and it keeps shifting constantly. And I keep having to, you know, click it again. And I don't know. We'll see. Maybe some of you have more experience than I do, and maybe some of you know something that I don't. Uh, I'm always open open for help. Thank you so much for watching, Sagittarius. Have a great week. Take care.